Now we're going to make this llama. So we're gonna use a 160 for the head, a 350 for the body and the top part of the back legs, and a 160 for the front legs, and a piece of 160 for the bottom of the back legs. And first we're gonna start with the head. So we need three of the same colors of 160s and one of the same colors for the body of a 350. And I'm gonna use rose pink so you can see <coughs> what's going on here. I was afraid if I used a white one, you might not be able to see um, the balloon as I'm trying to make it. So for one of the 160s, we want a three inch tail, which is about four fingers. And then this is going to be for the front legs. And then for the face of the llama or alpaca, we need a balloon with about a four inch tail, which is about five fingers of a tail. And then the other one is just gonna be for the bottom part of the back legs with about an eight finger tail, which is about six inches. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is take the one with the five finger tail or the four inch tail and we're gonna make the face. So we're gonna start with these nostrils right here and then do this part right in between the bottom lip and the nostrils and then this part and then we'll go back along the head. So we're gonna need two half inch bubbles pinch twisted for the nostrils. So for the first one, just pull this knot down and turn it. Make sure to let a nice puff of air out of all your balloons before you tie them so that they make the shape that you want. Make um, the second half inch bubble and pinch twist that. These are the nostrils <clears throat> and a half inch bubble for the part in between the lip and the nose. And then a little bit of a bigger one for the bottom lip, about a three fourth in inch bubble for the bottom lip and pinch twist that. And then take this knot from behind here and pull it and pinch twist the whole, just turn this whole thing together. And then after you do that, you can cut this little thing off right here. And then you should have something that looks like this and then turn the nostrils right like that. <clears throat> now we're gonna make this part on the llama's face right here, his uh, long, nose and that's gonna be about an inch and a half of a bubble right here and then we're gonna make one that gets uh, tucked in just like you do on a poodle's head or on a tiger's head this bubble's gonna get tucked into the back of the head and it's gonna be about an inch a one inch bubble right like that and then we're gonna make a one and a half inch bubble. Try to hold all these together while I twist. <laughs> I just let go. So, twist those. just because I said that, that's why it came undone. So make a one and a half inch bubble for the side of the head. And then we're gonna make your llama's ears. And we need a tiny little half inch bubble and pinch twist it. Let me show you what we're doing now. We made this part, the part that gets tucked back here, <clears throat> and then the side of the head, and then this pinch twist right here. Now we're gonna make the ears and go across the forehead. So for one of the ears, it's the same size as the side of the cheek, it's an inch and a half, and then pull this down to make the ears kind of curve frontwards. So this is about a half inch bubble, and that gets pulled down. Go across the top of the head. I'm still holding this. This is a one and a half inch bubble. Then make a half inch bubble. Make sure you uh, twist these good because they like to come undone. Kind of annoying, but just twist them good. There's a half inch bubble. Pinch twist that. Make a one and a half inch bubble for the other ear and pull it way down and make this half inch bubble wrap it around 
for the other ear. <coughs> Let me show you again. We're right here on this second ear. This over. And then we're gonna make the other side of the llama's cheek on the other side of his head and just twist that together. And now this part is gonna get tucked into the back of his head. Make sure you twist this good so it doesn't come undone. <laughs> it did anyway, good grief. Okay, so twist this good, hold it together, and then tuck this back right like that so it sits back there. Kind of like a teddy bear head or, you know, like where you have bubbles sitting in the back of the head. So <clears throat> right like this. And then we're gonna put a pinch twist at the bottom of this neck. And that's a half inch bubble. Pinch twist that. Now we're gonna run back up along the side of the face. Doesn't matter which side you start on. Just pick a side. We'll run up along. Aaron pinch twist, or not pinch twist, but twist it around that pinch twist. This thing's out of my way. Okay. And now we're gonna make the eyes of your llama. We're gonna make a half inch bubble and then half of a half inch bubble, a little tiny bubble. And then another half inch bubble for the other eye. And that's gonna run right along the front of the forehead and then just kind of roll the remaining balloon around and run it back down the other side of the cheek. And then you have all this and see how much air is in this? I'm gonna pop this and tie it off. Squeeze out all the air on the tip and just trim that off and let the air out. Try not to breathe in the powder, it's not good for you. I'm gonna tie it around just like that. Kind of tuck this knot up in there. You don't really need that. And now this center bubble, I'm gonna move these eyes down and then tuck this center bubble back in right like that. Just tuck this back in underneath the forehead a little. And then try to bring these ears up and over it because the llama's ears or alpaca's ears kind of curve up frontwards like that. So, Tuck it in a little like that. Like that wrap around. And let's see. I'm sure his little nostrils are curved out around like this. So this is your llama's head. And we're just gonna set that down for a minute. And this. Now we're going to make his big neck and go down here and make the back legs and curl his tail. So I'm going to set him aside. So take your 350 and then take the head of your llama and you're just going to wrap this around. Wrap the knot around right like that. And put this little pinch twist is it in the front? It looks like a little piggy now, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make a one-inch bubble on the 350 and pinch twist that just for the back of the head, and then wrap these two around. And then sit one of the little pinch twists up in the front of the head. And what we're gonna do now is curve this down around. You wanna go down about uh, four inches and then we're gonna bend it. And if you look at a llama, their front legs 
start like they're built really funny and it start they don't go down until like the back part of their body like you would think their legs would come down right here but they go back a little bit before they come down so we're gonna give that a bend at about four inches or five fingers like this and then we're going to take our 160 the longer one this one's for the back feet and this is going to go around the front of their body so what you want to do is start with the one inch bubble and pinch twist it two one inch bubbles pull it down in hold it and turn it and do it again spin this all together then we're gonna make sorry, a uh, two and a half inch bubble and turn it and then make two more one inch bubbles and pinch twist them and then we're gonna do the same as we did here we're gonna make another um, two and a half inch bubble turn and twist that and then two more one inch bubbles and pinch twist them and turn them all together and then we're going to go up around the body so go into the balloon about three inches and this is going to go up around right up around there and then twist this all together wrap it together and then for the other leg, you just run this down right along there. Wrap it around a couple times. And wrap this into here, twist it around, and then pop that off. And then tie the, the uh, knot into where you started right here. Just going to tie that two times so it doesn't come undone. And here's his front legs and then I'm gonna make his body about like behind his legs about five inches and then this top part of his bottom feet is twisted good because everything likes to come undone about five inches also and then twist this back up or bend it back up fold it back up here twist it together and then flip this bubble through so it doesn't come undone. And you're going to take his tail and wrap it up into here. Twist this and then just flip this around a couple times. And then squeeze it so it looks like it's curled. And then this part is just going to get rolled in a little and tucked down. I'm going to kind of tuck his butt down in like this. See, so it looks like it's butts up. I want this turn, turn together better. So this will just get pushed in a little. Or his butt. It looks like his tail curled. And then all we have to do now is put on the bottom feet of your llama. <laughs> Oops. Squeeze that. Should have done that. I guess you can squeeze the air. You can play with this and get it to go exactly where you want. This down. There's my longest legs. And now for the back legs, this part. Just make two one inch bubbles, pinch twist them. Wrap them around here. Twist it around. 
might be easier to do uh, this tucking part after you're all done with the bottom of your legs, honestly. And then these are going to run down to where this is. So you just want it about the same length. So I'm going to twist it right here. Make two one inch bubbles, pinch twist those. And then run this right back up into here. We're gonna turn that, pop this off down the balloon a little bit like that. So we have room to tie it. Let go of that and tie that knot. And then wrap this right up around these pinch twists. Right here. So you have this. And fix his little feet. I don't like all these knots. I'll cut off some of those knots. Let me straighten it like that a little. And so this is my llama. But I'm going to fix his face right here. I'll tell you how I put the eyes on and the nostrils and the teeth. So I like to draw little teardrops here and run it in to the cracks here for the nostrils. Give that a second to dry. And then his teeth, I like to put little teeth here. And then give them a, I like to give them a big, bottom lip under here, right like this, and then I give them eyes, two circles right here, because they have eyes, like wide set eyes, kind of on the sides of their face, if you look at a picture of a llama, and then I'm just going to give them little eyelashes, because they have big eyelashes, like that, and then, I mean, you might want to do this in white, that might look better, and then eyelashes like that. And then take your white edding marker and you can fill in the teeth. I'm just going to use white out because I have no idea where I put my white edding marker. So I'm just going to put dots like shine in his eyes. Right <laughs> here. Okay, no I'm not because this is dried out. But normally what I would do is put two white dots right here uh, to put the shine in his eyes. And this is your llama. And you can also draw fur on him if you want to. He could be done or you could draw like his fur, you know, down here, all the way around. It depends how much time you wanna spend on your balloon llama. I don't know why, but unicorns and llamas are a big thing right now. So if you have time to make this one, even maybe for a uh, birthday girl, you know, just to, or boy, just to deliver it at the party, it might be a good thing to do. And they'll love you for it. And this is your llama.